Hi friends, today's lesson is, Layers of Atmosphere. Earth's, atmosphere can be divided, into five main layers, excluding the exosphere. The atmosphere has, four primary layers, which are the troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, and thermosphere. Before going into main topic, we start from the Earth. Earth, our home. The Earth is the third planet from the Sun. The Earth's distance from the Sun is 149,600,000 kilometers. Note, the distance from Earth to the Sun is called an astronomical unit, or AU, which is used to measure distances throughout the solar system. It is the only planet known to have an atmosphere containing free oxygen, oceans of liquid water, on its surface, and of course, life. Roughly 70% of Earth's surface is covered by water, most of it in the oceans, and 30% of Earth's surface is land. Let's understand the layers of atmosphere. The atmosphere layers an important role in making life possible on Earth by protecting our Earth from harmful UV radiations of sun. The atmosphere of Earth is the layer of gases, commonly known as air, that surrounds the planet of Earth and is retained by Earth's gravity. There are four major layers of atmosphere above the Earth that are separated by temperature. Each layers are separated by an increasing or decreasing temperature of the gases in the layer. The first layer of atmosphere from the Earth is troposphere. Starting at ground level, it extends upward to about 10 kilometers, 6.2 miles or about 33,000 feet above sea level. We humans live in the troposphere, and nearly all weather occurs in this lowest layer. Most clouds appear here, mainly because 99% of the water vapor in the atmosphere is found in the troposphere. Air pressure drops, and temperatures get colder as you climb higher in the troposphere. The next layer up is called the stratosphere. The stratosphere extends from the top of the troposphere to about 50 kilometers 31 miles above the ground. The infamous ozone layer is found within the stratosphere. Ozone molecules in this layer absorb high energy ultraviolet UV light from the sun, converting the UV energy into heat. The stratosphere actually gets warmer the higher that trend of rising temperatures with altitude. That means air in the stratosphere lacks the turbulence and updrafts of the troposphere beneath. Commercial passenger jets fly in the lower stratosphere, partly because this less turbulent layer provides a smoother ride. The jet stream flows near the border between the troposphere and the stratosphere. The third layer of the atmosphere is mesosphere. It extends upward to a height of about 85 kilometers, 53 miles, above our planet. Most meteors burn up in the mesosphere. Unlike the stratosphere, temperatures once again grow colder as you rise up through the mesosphere. The coldest temperatures in Earth's atmosphere, about minus 90 degrees Celsius, minus 130 degrees Fahrenheit, are found near the top of this layer. The air in the mesosphere is far too thin to breathe air pressure at the bottom of the layer is well below 1% of the pressure at sea level and continues dropping as you go higher. The thermosphere or ionosphere is directly above the mesosphere and below the exosphere. It extended up to 700 kilometers, 440 miles above our planet. The thermosphere absorbed high-energy X-rays and UV radiation from the sun, and atoms turning them into ions with a positive charge. The temperature of the thermosphere varies between night and day and between the seasons, as do the numbers of ions and electrons which are present. The ionosphere reflects and absorbs radio waves, allowing us to receive shorter wave radio broadcasts from other parts of the world. Temperatures in the upper thermosphere can range from about 500 degrees Celsius, 932 degrees Fahrenheit, to 2000 degrees Celsius, 
3632 degrees Fahrenheit, or higher. The exosphere is the outermost layer of Earth's atmosphere. It extends from the exobase, which is located at the top of the thermosphere, at an altitude of about 700 km above sea level, to about 10,000 km 6, miles, 33 million feet, where it merges into the solar wind. This layer is mainly composed of, extremely low densities of hydrogen, helium and, several heavier molecules including nitrogen, oxygen, and carbon dioxide, closer to the exobase. The atoms and molecules are so far, apart that they can travel hundreds of kilometers without colliding with one another. Thus, the exosphere no longer behaves like a gas, and the particles constantly escape into space. These free-moving particles, follow ballistic trajectories, and may migrate in and out of the magnetosphere or the solar wind.